Hi guys, welcome to Rootstem, and in this video we're going to be painting the Beastman from Blackstone Fortress. Thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, we're going to be painting up the Beastman from Blackstone Fortress today. If you're new to the channel, please give us a like, you know, a share, a subscribe, all the usual good gubbins. It helps keep us alive and kicking and doing this for future. Um, so effectively, the only thing I would mainly say regarding this is that you can ignore what I've done on the bases. Those have been done to try it so I can have my... Uh, pseudo um trench like warfare base that i'm going to be doing for a lot of my evil sort of chaos forces which these might be part of depending of course upon how 9th edition because i'm recording this just before 9th edition comes out so depending on how 9th edition allows you to mix and match forces but we've got four different we've got four figures two different varieties two stooping forward two back and of course i've got different try to mix and match with the different blades uh, hopefully none of these will separate like we did on the last video but what we're going to be doing first off is of course spraying them with chaos black spray making sure they've got a nice undercoat and that it's everywhere and then i'm just going to put some xenophil highlighting on using the grace here so we've got his grace here I've got it loaded it loaded in i'm just going to test it yeah and we're going to focus on a little tiny bit on the cloth sorry apologies a little tiny bit on the cloth, a bit on the, uh, mainly on the skin. I'm going to try and avoid the armour as best as we possibly can. Next up, I'm using Scorch Brown, but Rhinox Hide is pretty much the same. Um, and I am painting the armour. Not paint anything else, just oh, actually no, paint over leather as well. So paint over the armor, paint over leather, leave the uh, try and make sure you don't get it on any of your high xenophil highlighting that you've been doing, and leave the cloth. All we're wanting from this is painted armor. I'm using a bit of a big brush at the moment, but you can it down to a smaller size which I will be doing soon I just wanted to try and get as much of this on as I can as quickly as I can because it's all about speed and getting through this also which I completely forgot to mention you need to paint the last pistol because remember that's got a wood stock for some reason so belts, armour, wood stock, last pistol Next up we're going to be using corn red. Now I've thinned this down because it is a base paint. It can be quite thick and I've made sure it's got a little bit of that transparency going on when you use a layer. So I'm just going to put this on and we're going to ignore the recesses as best we can or any divots or bumps. And if anyone follows my channel, after you've done the red, we're going to highlight the other brown bits. I'm going to get some Morn Fang, spin it down a bit, and just apply some highlights. Do that all over the leather items and all over the wood items. And keep it nice and thin so you've got a bit of that translucency. And if it looks, after it's dried, if it look, looks a bit too, it's not to your liking or it's a bit too light, always add another layer next up some contrast stage in we're gonna go wild wood we're gonna put this all over the flesh using a smaller brush trying to control the floor all over the fl well flesh I'm saying flesh mainly fur isn't it try and make sure that any strappings or clothes you avoid i 
Next up, Black Templar Contrast. We're gonna hit the uh, chain blades with this. And we are going to, if the end of there needs doing, just put a little bit on just to sort of darken it off. And we're gonna put this onto the, the combats of trousers. The time and the undershirt and whatever that thing is dangling down because it looks material. So next using um, three parts contrast medium one part dark or flesh I'm just creating a bit of a wash to go over the horns and if you've done your highlighting correctly on the horns you should get it kind of darker towards the bottom and lighter towards the top. If you think it's too light you can always add a bit more dark off. But I'm just wanting to get a bit of separation going. And while the horns are drying, get hold of some Agrac Surf Shade. Do the little strappings. It's gonna fall over if I don't move that. And also paint this on your uh, leather areas. On with a bit of dry brushing, just getting a little bit of scrag brown just on one of my uh, homemade small dry brushes. And we're just going over the um, the face and the hands and all the fur details. Just picking it up, picking it out. And that will give you your... Now, some little extra, some typhus corrosion uh, technical paint. We're going to put that onto these big machete like swords. And we're also going to put it onto the auto pistols. While we're waiting for that to dry, get some Dawnstone. Make sure you remove majority of the excess for dry brush and just dry brush some of this black cloth concentrating more towards maybe edges if you can the reason I'm doing it as a dry brush is that it's quick and easy and we haven't really as we put it on we can kind of just forget about it Ooh. So while we're still waiting for the uh, Typhus Corrosion to dry, get out your silver. Start painting up some of your silver details. Mainly the breastplate that's in front of the chin. And of course, the weapons. You know, you've got your chain blade. And you've also got the elements of your pistol that's not made out of wood. Like that silver, sorry, wash that silver with your usual no oil. So we've got all those elements drying. Let's get some Evil Sun Scarlet on a really thin brush. Thin it down a little bit. I'm using a wet palette just to make sure, well, a homemade one, just to make sure that this is going to be nice and thin. And let's start getting in. Edge highlighting for the red armor. Neck on compound now. So, after all that highlighting, it should be nice and dulled down a little bit, just giving you a bit of an edge. Neck on compound on the dirtied up weapons. So, the ones that you've put the Typhus corrosion across the top, which will only be about four. Just make sure that your skin's 
skim it across, that should pick up all the lovely bits of bobbles, picks up all the detail and makes it look like a really dirty rusted weapon. We're getting near to the end now. So highlights on the silver, I've got some Stormost. I'm just putting a little tiny bit of edge highlighting onto the silver pieces, the pure silver pieces. Okay, I've got and used your shabti bone on all the little skulls and any of the teeth uh, that's particularly showing uh, on the actual figures. And now I'm gonna use Talan sand on their feet. We're nearly done with these guys. We really are. So next up, we've got the hoofs on, we've got the bone on. Some seraphim sepia. Let's get it washed. Let's wash all the bone bits and wash the hooves. I'm hoping you guys can see it. And as usual, while waiting for one thing to dry, Get your orc flesh contrast paint out and paint up those grenades. Right guys, everything's drying. Let's get some uh, dry brushing done with some tyrant skull. Put this onto the horns. Just want a bit just running down those ridges. And that's pretty much it. Uh, at the moment, these guys are drying. I have done the ball rings in the nose and I have, of course, done some teeth and face, but I'm hoping you don't really need to see me paint teeth and face. I put a little bit of chevron in. A very bad chevron <laughs> into the weapons. Uh, and of course, I've based it like the, the rest of my forces that are going to be based that way. But uh, these are currently drying. I've just uh, varnished them using my airbrush varnish. Uh, these are currently drying, but that's it. They're uh, quick and simple to do. Um, another unit now finished for my Blackstone Fortress. I'll show you the backs. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get these guys done and properly dusted ASAP so we can start having games of Blackstone Fortress on the channel. Um, I want more. I, I do want the games to come back on the channel. Ninth Edition's coming out as well. I just hope we can start having you know having people actually get together but thanks very much for watching guys please like share subscribe hit that notification button if you do want to see more next week is going to be these fellas Negavolt cultists um there will be a little bit of airbrush work involved with them but majority of them are going to be well i i'm not looking forward to it. everything i've seen online to tell me about these are quite awkward to paint there's little bits of fiddly things that paint can get everywhere. So it's probably going to be one of those lessons in control. But uh, yeah, so hopefully join us next week and we'll get those guys painted. And then we'll just be on to the Chaos Marines after that. Including the Chaos Lord, which I might do as a separate, you know, I'll do the Chaos Marines and I'll do the Chaos Lord as a separate video. And then we'll be on to the good guys. But thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.